In our last video, I demonstrated the new two-page ability for the word searches where you have the words on one side and the puzzle on the other side. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this with the crossword puzzle tool. We just added this to that tool as well. So let's get started. You can get to the tool by clicking on activity books, crossword puzzle tool, or clicking on the icon. So let's get started by setting up our book. I like eight and a half and by 11 with four answers per page. And to get the two page puzzles, you click on this button, two page puzzles. I'm only gonna do four puzzles right now just to demonstrate this ability. And let's do 20 clues and how about 20 letters across by 25 letters down. And because I'm lazy and don't wanna get a bunch of clues, I'm gonna use AI to generate my clues for me. I have some themes that I asked ChatGPT to give me. So I'm just gonna cut and paste them into this box. Let's just go ahead and hit refresh and see what we get. All right, so now you can see I have the clues on one page and I have the puzzle on another page and then we have all four answers. This two page ability is perfect for creating large print books. So let's increase this font size. So if I'm doing a puzzle for visually impaired people, I probably want to have it be around 18 to 20 for the font size. So let's do 20 for all of these. There we go. And now let's do a refresh. And now as you can see, we have much larger print here. Same for the puzzle title. And we left the size in the answer pages alone. One of the things that you can also do here is control where in the page the across and down titles start. And you can do that here, start down and across text at. So if you wanna move it down, maybe you have a header or something you wanna place on it, you can use that to move it down. And you can also control how much space is between this across, down, and the first clue. And that is done over here, space between down across text and clues. So maybe we make that also Let's make up 0.5 as well. And let's hit refresh and see what that looks like. And now you can see that the across down is lower and there's more space between it. So you can play with that and get it however you like. You can do the same sort of thing with a puzzle and say where you wanna start the title at and then the space between the title and the puzzle. So you can also customize that as well. And once you get everything the way you want it, you just hit the download PDF button and you wait. And here's our final PDF. So we have the clues on one page, then the puzzle, then the clues, puzzle, clues, puzzle, and then all of our answers. I hope you guys like this new feature of the crossword puzzle tool. And if there's any other features you'd like to see added to this tool, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.